Fox News has reported on a phone conversation between Trump and Elon Musk. Let's watch discuss what they've said about it and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think they discussed and what are the potential implications? Former President Donald Trump sat down for an extended interview last night and he went hard after Vice President Kamala Harris on the issues. She is considered yeah. more liberal by far than Bernie Sanders. She's a radical left lunatic. She's yeah. saying she was strong on the border and we're going to be strong. Well, she doesn't have to say it. She could close it up right now. The election's coming up and the people want to hear about the economy and the fact that Absolutely they can't sure. buy groceries because they don't have enough money to buy groceries. And this, this stupid administration allowed this to happen. The Harris campaign responded this way, a statement. Trump's entire campaign is in service of people like Elon Musk and himself. Self-obsessed, rich guys who will sell out the middle class and who cannot run a live stream in the year 2024. All right, this is a woman who woman-splained artificial intelligence has two letters, but okay. Brian Yenis has more. Brian. Harris, at its peak, about 1.3 million people were listening in as former President Trump and Elon Musk spoke for more than two hours yesterday in an audio conversation on X. But it was marred by technical glitches that delayed the event by more than 40 minutes. Users who tried to join the X Spaces convo were met with messages that said, quote, this space is unavailable. On X, Musk claimed the glitches were due to a cyber attack, writing, quote, there appears to be a massive DDoS attack on X, working on shutting it down. A DDoS or distributed denial of service attack is a federal crime. It involves flooding a site with data and knocking it offline. An attack has not been independently verified, and critics are skeptical given the rest of X appear to be operating normally and because people remember the technical problems that riddled that X space co uh, conversation last year when Florida Governor Ron DeSantis launched his presidential campaign on the platform. Nonetheless, once the conversation started, Trump and Musk spoke about the assassination attempt, fossil fuels, and illegal immigration. Just cannot have a situation where our police officers are beat, beaten up on camera uh, by, you know, a, a, a gang of illegal immigrants, and then nothing happens to to, to the, the guys that beat beat up the cops. I mean, and they're let out. This is unacceptable. Well, we're going to change it, um, and we're going to get them out of the country. There's a lack of empathy for the victims of the criminals, and and too much empathy for the criminals. Musk, who is funding and leading a super PAC to get Trump elected, explained why he's endorsing the former president. I would call myself, uh, you know, historically a moderate Demo Democrat. So this is to people out there who are in the moderate camp to say, I think you should support um, Donald Trump for president. Um, and and I, I think it's actually a very important junction in the road. And, and we're in deep trouble if, they don't, if, if, if it goes the other way. And Harris, back to you. All right, Brian, thank you very much. The Harris campaign, as we were just talking about, has been mocking that technical glitch that Brian was reporting on. It delayed last night's two-hour Trump interview by more than 40 minutes. And pretty rich for a candidate who's been running for 23 days to have her campaign going after him. And she still has not sat down for a formal interview or even held a press conference. Which leaves the Trump campaign surrogates trying to explain. I understand why the media wants to be able to ask questions. Um, that is your job. And, and certainly we respect that. I'm on here answering uh, your questions. And I'm sure when the time is right that Vice President Harris will sit down uh, and answer all the questions that she needs. And that was a mistake, by the way. Obviously, those are uh, Kamala Harris's surrogates trying to explain it all. And you saw that. Our Chiron's on screen were right. Trump's not buying any of it. And he said this to Elon Musk last night. He hasn't done an interview I mean, since this whole... Yeah. Uh, scam started. It's nice to have yeah, a forum yeah. like this where I can discuss something at length. Hey, and by the way, you think Biden could do this interview? Do you think that Kamala <laughs> could do this interview? They would take a pass. It's it's pretty sad when you think that somebody that does this for a living can't answer a question or is afraid to do an interview. 